As many as 10,000 drones could be prowling American skies by 2020. This is according to the U.S. Aviation Administration. As Washington continues to boost domestic surveillance all in the name of public safety, a growing numbers of young Americans are choosing to get in on the action. RT's Anastasia Cherkina has the story. Launch, launch, launch! Unmanned aerial vehicles, better known as drones, are not only in the skies but might be taught at a college near you. At least three U.S. schools offer bachelor degrees in engineering and flying UAVs. Dozens more offer Drone 101 courses and classes. The University of North Dakota kicked off its four-year program in 2009 with just five students. That number is now at 120. They've elected to, to major in unmanned aircraft systems, and I believe the reason is that they see that as, a, as an opportunity for growth. It's an emerging technology. Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Florida began training UAV pilots and operators in 2011 and expects the number of graduates to reach the hundreds in the next several years. It's becoming more apparent that UAVs are becoming more prevalent in pretty much any type of operation you can imagine. The increased interest in the drone industry is largely fueled by post-grad starting salaries that are much higher than those for pilots flying planes or helicopters. We're an economy that hasn't recovered, okay? So people see opportunities for jobs wherever there's money to be had, of course. Uh, but the problem is that universities are supposed to do something more than serve the military industrial complex. To widespread debate, drones are notoriously used as weapons in U.S. wars abroad. The one that's under heavy scrutiny right now is that unmanned aircraft in the past have been used by the military. Therefore, the logical leap is that unmanned aircraft will be used militaristically in the United States. The Federal Aviation Administration says that 10,000 commercial drones could be used over U.S. skies within five years for surveillance and other purposes, while controversy surrounding them is at a peak. How dare they even talk about drones on a domestic aspect? There are many, many cities in the country that have already got rights to use these drones, and they will be using them. So without laws that protect our privacy, we don't know how they're going to be used. Most people teaching and studying UAV-oriented programs insist their use is much more varied than for military purposes abroad and surveillance at home. I think there's a lot of applications for them where that wouldn't even be an issue at all. Border security, meteorological and environmental surveillance, such as sending a drone into a hurricane without having to worry about the pilot, are among the applications most commonly praised in UAV use. Still, the most common association with drones at home is law enforcement, and it's this aspect that's making Americans very uncomfortable. Obviously, there's going to be some regulations that are going to have to, you know, be put in place so that people don't run around, or at least you know, police or whoever doesn't just have the ability to run around and, you know, go unchecked, looking at, you know, uh, having an ever watchful eye over the public. But I, I don't think that it'll, it'll be a deterrent, more so it'll be a challenge to make sure that, you know, people are happy with the, implement, the implementation of unmanned aircraft into the national airspace system. Officials are yet to convince Americans that there are more pros than cons to drones flying over U.S. soil. It's time to say, wait a minute, hold up. Let's not move forward in this area without understanding where we're going. And that's the problem here. That's the danger. The Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International estimates the number of American jobs in the industry will grow to over 23,000 over the next 15 years. Anastasia Churkina, RT, New York.